late Earl Nightingale was a wonderful orator and also a great writer. And I want to share his quote that he titled, Attitude Outlook. And he says, our outlook on life is a kind of paintbrush and with it we paint our world. It can be bright and filled with hope and satisfaction or it can be dark and gloomy. In fact, the world we experience is only a reflection of our attitude. Everything that's really worthwhile in life comes to us for free. Our minds, our souls, our bodies, our hopes, our dreams, our ambitions, our intelligence, our love of family and children and friends and country. All of these priceless possessions come to us for free. The difference between appreciation and flattery is a quote by Dale Carnegie. And he says that the difference between appreciation and flattery is a simple one. One is sincere, the other insincere. One comes from the heart, the other comes from the teeth. One is unselfish, the other selfish. One is universally admired and the other universally condemned. Yes, there really is a difference between appreciation and flattery. Sales has its ups and downs is a quote by Greg Gore. And he says that recognize that the downs provide opportunities for significant growth because every sales call, regardless of outcome, is a source of feedback and greater self-knowledge. So accept the downs as a test of your inner strength and as a challenge to make a victory of your experience. You have a choice of action and you can make a decision not to be discouraged and not to quit when you face difficult times. Such a victory is the best kind of victory because a victory of perseverance and will is what that victory is all about. Now, here's an interesting quote by Dale Carnegie, and he called it a childish interest in what you want. So why talk about what you want? That is childish, it's absurd. And of course, you are interested in what you want. And in fact, you are eternally interested in it. But no one else is. The rest of us are just like you. We too are interested in what we want. I personally love and admire the work of Earl Nightingale. And especially this particular quote on achieving goals and in fact Earl Nightingale calls this captain's goal and he says think of a ship with the complete voyage mapped out and fully planned the captain and crew know exactly where the ship is going and how long it will take to get there because it has a definite goal and 9,999 times out of 10,000, it will get there because it has a definite goal. Now he calls this quote, the chosen land. And what he says about it is this, the human mind is much like a farmer's land. The land gives the farmer a choice and he may plant in that land whatever he chooses. The land doesn't care what is planted because it's up to the farmer to make that decision. 
and the mind, like the land, will return what you plant, and it doesn't care what you plant.